Victoria's Health Minister Jenny Makakos has resigned in the wake of criticism of her handling of the hotel quarantine program, which led to Victoria's second deadly wave of coronavirus. Ms Makakos says that she has written to the Governor of Victoria to resign as a minister effective today and will also resign from Parliament. Well, for more on this, uh, let's go to Margaret Paul, who has the latest from Melbourne. Good morning, Margaret. Can you take us through in more detail what the statement outlines by Ms Makakos? Good morning. Yes, so Jenny Makakos released a statement a short time ago on Twitter um, saying that she was resigning from her ministry position and from Parliament effective immediately. Now, she says um, she takes full responsibility for her department but adds, it is not my responsibility alone. It's quite an interesting statement and this comes after the hotel quarantine inquiry in Melbourne has wrapped up yesterday. Um, so, the, the statement that she's released on Twitter, she says she never wants to leave the job unfinished. Obviously, the health minister leaving in the middle of a pandemic is quite quite something. Um, but she says, in light of the Premier's statement to the Board of Inquiry, and there are facts I strongly disagree with, I cannot continue to serve in his cabinet. And she says she's sorry for the positions the Victorians find themselves in, but in good conscience, I do not believe that my actions led to them. However, she has resigned effective immediately. Um, and now this comes after the Premier giving evidence to that Board of Inquiry yesterday and the Premier um, laid responsibility for that hotel in hotel quarantine scheme um, squarely at the feet of Jenny Makarkos yesterday. Given that, Margaret, was it inevitable that Jenny Makarkos would resign or was there an expectation that she would? Um, among some circles, certainly, there was that expectation. I think uh, watching the watching the evidence yesterday, it was the Premier had always said that he would be very clear in that evidence. And the questions that we um, have been trying to get to the bottom of in Victoria this week are around who is responsible for that hotel quarantine scheme and who made the decisions for, ho for um, private security guards to be involved in that scheme. As to that second question, we still don't know the answer. But the questions about res responsibility and accountability um, Andrews laid squarely at the feet of Makarkos yesterday. So uh, there was certainly some who I've been speaking to who said that they expected her to go. Um, however, yes, this statement's just come out a short time ago on Twitter. So, Margaret, finally, in, in light of this resignation, are we any closer to finding out who was responsible for the engagement of private security for, for firms for, um, uh, for the quarantining there? Because as you mentioned and alluded to in that statement by uh, Ms Makarkos is that she was saying that she takes part of the responsibility, perhaps not all of it. That's right. And so... It, it that question about who made that decision, no, it's still not clear. And the Premier was questioned on this yesterday and he said he doesn't know. So there have now been more than two dozen people who've given evidence to this inquiry um, and, and no one's been able to say exactly who made that decision. Um, and, and then we go further to those questions about responsibility and accountability. And obviously we've seen what we've seen with the Health Minister resigning today. But as to that question about who made the decision, no, it's still not clear. And the Premier was questioned yesterday about whether that means that perhaps it was just a, a more of a creeping assumption that crept into um, ministerial decision making. And if that's the case, that's quite worrying. And he agreed that that would be worrying. Um, so the, the, um, in, the Board of Inquiry is due to hand down its report early next month. Um, there really is no one left to give evidence. The evidence ha has all wrapped up. So, you know, I guess we just wait and see if that, if that, um, if that final report sheds any further light on it. Mm. Margaret Paul, thank you so much for joining us.